everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. This week we are looking at inspiring Japanese artist Takashi Murakami. He works in many forms of art from the fine arts like painting and sculpture to more commercial arts like fashion, merchandise, and animation. Murakami is well known for his unique style that he calls super flat. This style combines the look and technique of traditional Japanese woodblock prints with that of Japanese pop culture. Murakami's work has gained popularity throughout the years thanks to collaborations he's done with various designers, including Marc Jacobs and Louis Vuitton, as well as singers and songwriters such as Kanye West, Pharrell Williams, and Billie Eilish. So for our project today, we're going to uh, create a Takashi Murakami style art piece. Um, we're going to create our own kind of character that kind of mimics the uh, super flat characters created by Murakami. So if you noticed, a lot of his work has a ton of color. It has a ton of repetition and pattern. And it has these really cute little pop culture kind of creatures or animals that are kind of uh, have these very typical kind of anime style Japanese eyes and big smiling mouths. So we're going to uh, take that part of his style that um, kind of Japanese cutesy and we're going to apply it to something else. So think of something in your brain that uh, you can add these cartoony, uh, anime-like eyes and smile too. And this can be anything. It could be a food, it could be a animal, it could be a object, uh, it could be pretty much anything you can think of. Um, think about his art pieces that are all the flowers. He's super well known for these flower characters that are all overlapped and layered on each other. Um, we're going to create a, uh, picture kind of like that with our own kind of uh, object that's been Murakami-fied. So uh, it's going to be overlap and we're going to have a lot of it. It's going to create a lot of pattern and repetition uh, kind of over and over. We'll play with sizes of our objects and um, add those funky eyes and faces to make it look really, really adorable. Um, but I think I'm going to draw a ice cream cone um, because I'm ready for summer and I feel like ice cream is delicious so i'm gonna draw a few different ice cream cones and i'm gonna draw them all over my page so we want to cover pretty much our entire page you can do your page uh your art project either landscape or um portrait uh, i'm gonna do my portrait but i'm gonna do my ice cream cones and then i think i'm gonna add my uh eyeballs in last um and here I'll put a couple different eyeball uh, suggestions of some of the different kinds of eyeballs that uh, Murakami uses. Um, I'll put that here in the video for you to look at. So if you wanna pause them and look at those, you can have all the eyeballs be the same. You can have them all be different. Um, you can add different expressions, but I would put a smile differently on your um, patterns. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna get going on my ice cream cones. So I talked about kind of making it making them kind of all different sizes. And I think I might not just make them ice cream cones. I think I'm gonna make them like sundaes. With like cherries on top. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make them sundaes. <laughs> So I'm gonna draw those kind of all over my page and I'll draw them huge, I'll draw them little, I'm gonna maybe rotate them a little bit. I think I want them all facing the same direction so you know that they're ice cream because it might not, you might not be able to tell if I have them like upside down. But I might have to use my eraser a lot since my stuff is kind of overlapping. Okay. 
And you can even have some of your things maybe like jumping off the page. I think I'm gonna try and keep most of mine on here, but just to fill up some space. Now that I have all my ice cream gones done, I gotta go and add some eyeballs. And I wanna add some uh, interesting kind of uh, cutesy eyeballs. Um, if you have a hard time with drawing like anime style eyeballs, you can always just draw regular kind of ones that have how you might uh, do them um, on a character. Um, but I'm gonna try and do mine to be a little bit more like Murakami. So, I'm going to draw, uh, I think like, and I don't know if I should draw eyes on both of them or what, but I think I might draw little cutesy ice cream cones. I think I'm gonna do something like that where I have two different eyes on my ice cream cones. Um, but I think instead of doing it in pencil, I'm just gonna go in pen. I feel pretty confident. Um, so I'm gonna add my eyes in my pen and then I'm gonna go kind of over my whole drawing in pen just so that it kind of stands out. Ooh. But we'll see which kind of eyes type I like better, but I think I'll probably stick with this where I do kind of two different eyes on the two different cone, two different scoops, because I feel like they shouldn't be the same. There we go. I think I might need to do, I don't know, one of them looks like a little bit harder, a little harder to do some of the other ones. So maybe I'll stick with them. I don't know. We'll see. I might just do the style of the top eye. Um, but actually, I think I'll go and now that I've colored them in, I think I decide I'm going back and forth. I think I'm going to add my eyeballs just uh, with pencil first. I think that might be the best option. but I think I'm gonna do happy faces on all of them. So this is gonna be a lot of, a lot of eyeballs I'm drawing. But I'll go ahead and finish my eyeballs and we'll pen everything and then I will come back and we will uh, start our coloring.
here is my Takashi Murakami inspired um, pattern. I chose to do ice cream cones and I tried to make it all different flavors of ice cream. So I have chocolate, vanilla, Rocky Road, coffee, Neapolitan, pistachio, mint chocolate chip. As many as I could think of, I tried to capture all in here. And I'm really happy with this. I think it turned out really awesome. I think it captures the cuteness of the Japanese pop culture and um, are kind of fun, super flat characters. So thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this activity and I can't wait to see your adorable uh, Mirakami inspired characters. Um, thanks everyone and have a good week. Bye.